Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Arithmetic Progression. Hello friends, may I request you to please click on the subscribe button below this video. The given question is find the sixth term from the end of the AP 17, 14, 11, minus 40. And guys, this is one of the most important question. This question is from the chapter Arithmetic Progression and this came in the year uh, 2005 in one of the CBC board examination. Now guys, let's see how we will move um, in answering this type of questions. Now let me write down the are given arithmetic progression or whatever is being given. So they have given that uh, the number sequence or the arithmetic progression what they have given is 17, 14, 11 and then they have given towards the end is uh, minus 40. So guys and the question wants us to find the sixth term of this AP from the end. That means from 40th uh, from this 40 we need to find out the sixth term. What is that value? So guys let us do like this. Let us start uh, working out this type of things where it is being asked to find out the um, term from the end. Let us put down those terms uh, in as a first term. Let me let me note it down it will be very clear. So this is my first term and uh, the first term I will consider minus 40 as my first term. Just I have reversed this one so that it would be easy for us. Now, what is our last term? Uh, you could see that here as per the AP, this is uh, 17 is the first term, 14 is the second term and 11 is the third term. So what I will do instead of uh, 11 as the third term, I can uh, tell that this is the L uh, third or uh, L third term. I, I, I can write this one as the L third as 11. L second because this is last so I'm consider L is nothing but last L second is 14 and L first because last from last it is first so L first is 17 guys till here we know what is uh, we need to do and it, it uh, the question asks us to find the value of the sixth term from the end that means our sixth term lies somewhere uh, somewhere here between this first and this uh, L third term so what I will do, let uh, I will write this one as the sixth term because our sixth term lies somewhere here and we are going to find out the value of the sixth term. So let, us, let me name this one as a1 and this one is a6 because this is the sixth term and similarly this one is L, a l3, a l2 and a l1. Guys what I did? I just uh, took out the calculation or I just started the calculation from the end considering the last term minus 40 is our first term and considering 17 is our first term is the last term. You could see that L first. I have taken 17 is the last term. Now we are now we got uh, one arithmetic uh, progression table. So let us frame this one in a tabular form so that it will be easy for us to move ahead without confusing among the numbers. I always advise to frame down the question in a tabular form so that it will be easy for us to may move ahead without confusing among the uh, numbers. So that is what I, I'm doing here. Just putting some lines in between so that it will be help for us to segregate the figures and uh, will not end up in confusing confusion. Now guys, uh, what I, I, I'm going to do is that I will recall our formula for arithmetic progression. So the formula, we very well know that popular formula like a n is equal to a 1 plus n minus 1 into d. So guys, we very well know a n is the nth term, uh, the value of the nth term. a 1 is uh, the first term, n is the uh, term, particular term, nth term and um, d is the common difference. So guys, here let us first of all find out the common difference. Finding out the common difference is very, we very well know that what is a common difference. Common difference is the uh, values uh, between the consecutive numbers and always we calculate the common difference from the uh, last of the sequence. So here let us find out the common difference from the last means. Here I will take uh, a l2, a l2 minus a l1. You guys, you can also take a l1 minus l2, but I am considering a l2 minus l1 or I can write d is equal to 14 minus 11 or I can write d is equal to 3. So guys you could see that I got the value of common difference is 3. Now after getting the value of common difference uh, it becomes very easy for us to find out what exactly we are need to do. Now let me put the things in our 
given arithmetic progression formula. Here we are going to we are trying to find out the value for uh, sixth term. That means our n is equal to six. We got d is equal to three, and we are going to uh, and we also know a one a one value is equal to minus forty. Now with these things in place, let us uh, start uh, deriving the values. Uh, using our most popular formula, a1 plus n minus 1 into d. Guys, this is the most popular and mo most usable formula, which you will see that in arithmetic progression case, we use again and again. Now, here we are going to find out the value for nth term, that is 6th term. So, I will write a6 is equal to a1 is minus 40 plus n value is 6 minus 1 into d. d value is 3 or a6 is equal to minus 40 plus 5 into 3 just guys solving this equation or a6 is equal to minus 40 plus 15 or I can write a6 is equal to or I can write a6 is equal to minus 25. So guys, you could see that how easily we are able to derive the value for the sixth term. We got the value for sixth term is minus 25. So therefore, we can write at the end, therefore, the value, therefore, the value of the sixth term, of the sixth uh, term of this given a p term of this given a p or arithmetic progression is minus 25 that's all guys i hope you understood this calculation or this process uh, what i did uh, but still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.